So welcome to my allotment. It's the beginning of August and today I'm going to be showing you what jobs you can be doing in August. Now if you've not already subscribed to my channel, if you could please do so because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my home garden, my allotment and also my home kitchen. Well August is a very very different month to July because we've got a lot more crops that can be harvested. So an awful lot of your time in August will actually be taken up harvesting some of your crops you know at the moment I'm harvesting um, my berries so my raspberries and my blackberries I've got plenty of potatoes that I'm digging up my um, courgettes have come on in abundance I'm getting a few beans and my tomatoes aubergines and cucumbers at home are really starting to produce a lot um, my kale is doing really well, my broccoli, um, I'm even pulling a few bits of beetroot, my carrots aren't quite there. You know, but there's lots and lots of things you can be harvesting and sometimes in August, keeping on top of the harvesting is your busiest job because if you don't take out um, cucumbers when they're the right size, um, they'll get too big and then more ones won't produce. Um, the same thing with um, your beans. If your beans get too big and start to swell out, the plant will send a message and will start to um, create seed rather than the beans. So you must always pick those items. Indeed, I'm going on holiday soon. And my friends, um, you know, watering is the least of their worries. It's actually more harvesting things. So you get a succession of things. Things like my purple sprouting and the broccoli. You know, once that's formed their heads, you've got to take them off because otherwise they will go to seed and then you'll be lucky if you get any more. So keeping on top of the harvesting is really, really important. And if you have a glut, you can always freeze things. You can make jams, preserves, you can share them with your friends. You know, there's always something to be done with any glut of um, things you've got. The other job I've been doing this morning actually is some weeding. We've had quite a lot of weeds and so we've been digging all those up. So to keep on top of your weeding because obviously they take precious nutrients and water out of the soil and that's the last thing you want. We've got dahlias, so that's another job. Even if I don't want the flowers, I've got to de-head all the ones that have gone over, otherwise it won't produce any more. We are starting to get, um, you can see today is really quite breezy and we had some really, really breezy days, making sure things are tied up properly. Um, at home, uh, one of my tomatoes has completely gone down. It did have a cane in it, but because it had grown up, it had so much fruit on it, you know, they need a bit more support. So I've had to put very like sidebars into some things. So do keep an eye on everything to make sure things are well tied up and the supports you've got are doing the job you want them to do. Also keep an eye on um, pest and disease. I cover a lot of my plants with net, you know, my brassicas to stop the white fly and the white cabbage butterfly. Um, but even then, I still need to regularly take a look to make sure that nothing's mun munching away because um, they can still get under and um, they manage to find a way. They're a bit like Houdini's. They can get, get in and out of anywhere. Um, and they can cause a lot of damage and other pests and disease as well. Keep an eye on stuff, make sure everything's okay. You might need to feed things. That's something I've done today. Um, I've given uh, some of my plants, I felt needed it, particularly hungry plants. I've got things like your squashes and your courgettes um, are particularly hungry. My tomatoes and my aubergines at home, again, particularly hungry crops. Um, so well worth you know looking at things that, that need feeding and making sure you keep on top of that as well. You can also be sowing a few seeds as well. Today I've just sown some lettuce seed and I've also sown some radishes at home. So there is a video on what things you could sow um, so please do take a look at that um, if you want to look at what you can sow. If you're going to start sowing stuff in August I would do it sooner rather than later if it was me and I've got my stuff out now already right at the beginning so I know it's going to do what I need it to do as quickly as possible. And of course watering, um, don't forget to water if necessary. Um, I did do a video on this about um, how often you should water and you actually don't need to water as much as you think you do. I give everything a good soak once a week if it doesn't rain. Now if it rains really well the job is done for me. So generally I only water well once a week with the exception of anything new that I've planted out or any seeds that I've just sown and those I would water every three days if it doesn't rain. 
um, unless of course you've got pots. Now pots are a different ball game altogether and in this really hot sunny weather you might have to water them once or twice a day, even three times if the pots aren't very big. But we're talking about the allotment. So the allotment generally once a week and things that are in pots are quite different. But again, there is a video on that which will give you some kind of idea of how you water things. If you've, if you've watered them in well and they're well rooted into the soil, they shouldn't need watering really regularly. I see some people watering far too much in my opinion. So I do hope that this video has been useful. Um, I'd love to know what you're all doing and where you are in the, in the country or indeed the world. Um, and if you've got any special hints and tips and things you're doing or any successes at the moment, I'd love to see what you're doing and hear what you're doing. Um, and if you've not already done so, don't forget to, to like and um, subscribe and comment. Thank you.